this is Acme. I'm going to show how to use how I use Acme to work with Git. Hopefully as well you'll be able to see a couple of features in Acme or usages of Acme that aren't entirely obvious in the process. So I have source code here that I want to um, create a git commit for. I've made some changes that I want to submit into a pull request. So that generally involves a couple of different git commands. I tend to do those quite often over and over and over again. So I wanted to show you how I do that in the hopes that it can help other people. So one thing that I did not know until very recently about Acme is the title bars of these windows. While they're editable, you can start adding, you know, if you want to search for something in the window, you could type in uh, you know, a word and you could right click and it does a search in the buffer for that word. Just keep right clicking. But what I didn't know is that you can actually add multiple lines in the title line here. So you could take this and you can add in commands in here, especially the ones that I run on a regular basis. So for example, I'm often running git status to see what's changed so that I can verify that the changes I'm submitting are correct. So because this is not one word, this is actually two separate words, um, I can't just middle click this to run it like I would usually do with one of the commands at the top here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you know, it's going to be these two commands. I could make a shell script that would just be a single word and run that, but I'm not a fan of creating lots of different shell scripts. I, I like to try to run the base command as much as possible so, so I don't rely on custom scripts in different environments. Anyhow, so I've added this git status command here that I'm going to run over and over again while I'm working on this project. So the trouble is I, you know, I could middle click, hold down the middle mouse button and drag and you see it's kind of red there saying it's going to execute this. And I could run it that way, but that's kind of a pain. Um, so what I prefer generally is to um, double click, double left click on the row and it highlights the entire row. And then I can middle click or alt click on a Mac because I only, I'm running this on a Mac. I can middle click on that line and it runs it. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that, um, as I mentioned, but uh, this is the one I tend to prefer. So I can look in here, get status, and I can see this is a change to a file here. Now, because Acme has the cool capability to recognize file paths and, and join them with the context path that's in the window, um, I can actually go and navigate to this file by right clicking or command clicking on a Mac on this link here, and it just opens it up which is kind of nice. Well, I already had it open, so it just highlighted it over here for me. Now, what I find really interesting is that unlike Xterm or these various uh, Xterm or the terminal on the Mac, uh, this buffer is actually generally editable. So what I find I'm doing quite often is I'm going, okay, well, I would like a git, like to diff this file to see what I changed. So why don't I just type in git diff and then the file name here and then I've got the command that I want. So rather than, you know, typing git diff and copy pasting this path, I just write in git diff in front of it and then highlight it, middle click, and then I can get a diff of what I've changed. I know not everybody is used to reading diffs. I, I tend to be, um, so I'm okay with this output, but I suppose, you know, a GUI could be launched uh, to show the diffs here instead of just the raw diff output. In this case, I'm happy with the changes. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to change this git diff to a git add. And let's add this thing to the, add it to the index. Okay, it's added. Uh, let's just do a quick git status to make sure that everything is the way I expect. That these are, these are changes that are ready for a commit. And now let's commit it. So I'll create a git commit with a message.
All right, so I've typed my git commit message. I'm going to do what I mentioned before. I'm just going to double click on left click on the line, highlights it, and then I can middle click or alt click to run it. Now I have my commit. So because I do this quite often, I'm just going to leave these here in this buffer for this window for the uh, the top level top level project that I'm working in because I'm just going to keep running these over and over again multiple times. I might just modify the commit message and then just run it over and over again. This becomes kind of my command console for this project. If this if these commands are useful to other people, I could put them in the readme.md. And then the readme.md becomes kind of a, a command a um, becomes kind of a console or a dashboard that multiple people on the team could use. In this case, I'm one of the only people using Acme, so I'm just going to leave it at this, and there's not a lot of commands for me to remember. All right, so there's a, a brief work through, walk through on how I use Git in conjunction with Acme. I think one thing to keep in mind here is that I, there is no real Git integration in Acme here. All I'm really doing is running the standard Git commands, but I'm doing it within the Acme environment. So that makes Acme quite versatile because anything that has a command line command can integrate nicely with the editor in, in several ways. So I hope that that, uh, that point gets across. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. I hope this is useful.